Once a week, I'm going to challenge you with a small and simple task. These tasks should take no more than 10 to 15 minutes. And the goal of these challenges is to help you learn not only Godot, but also problem solving. You can access the challenges in real time before I release the solution a week before in my Patreon. Link is down below. Welcome back, everyone. In this tutorial or video, we're going to be completing the uh, collectibles section. So this one is pretty easy because we've actually already done a collectible uh, challenge itself. Um, but this one is more so uh, geared towards actually showing the collectibles on the top left or as GUI. So here you can see that the, the counter went up. The basic idea is very easy. In the collectible, we simply need to check for the player, whatever way that is. Uh, I usually do it by the string of the body, or you can do it with groups, whatever. And then we're going to add to our game.gems.collected. Now we have worked with global scripts in this uh, series, um, but we'll show it again. Uh, and then of course we'll queue free. So all we have to do to make a global script or a global variable is create that script. So here we have the game variable and then have the variable called gems collected. Now in the auto load section, you can add a script here. So I can click the folder, select the game.gd, open it. I'm gonna click cancel though. And then you would click add right here. And then you would have the new script. Now, in order to show something, it's pretty simple. All we need is a label with a script. So I've already created this script. The basic idea is that we're gonna have a process function that constantly updates. The reason why we can't do it in the ready function is because it would only happen once and we want this to constantly update, right? Now here you can see that the self.text uh, is equal to string of the gems collected. Now why not just uh, gems collected? Well, when I play, you'll see that I'm trying to use an integer and put a string, so that doesn't work. So I have to convert it. And I can do that by saying str. Uh, and then I'm gonna say plus and then add this string right in front of it. So now it will always show zero gems collected. And then I can add and it will say now one gem collected. Awesome, that is pretty much it for this challenge. It was pretty easy and simple. Uh, hopefully it shouldn't have taken you more than 15, 20 minutes. Um, if you already knew it, then maybe it would have taken like five minutes. Um, but in terms of research, yeah, it shouldn't have taken that long. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this challenge. I will see you all next week uh, for the next challenge.